48 days out, it's a pre-workout meal. No surprise, we've got 100 grams of chicken, 60 grams of rice, it doesn't look like much. Oh, and I get some olive oil, but we're gonna chuck that on there, and I'll tell you what, it's gonna go down well. Feeling pretty good here, we got a legs day, we're basically starting the new week. Let's get it. All right, we're 48 days out, so we're into week seven here. It's Sunday morning, I'm running a little bit late, actually it's about 5, 5.40 in the morning. Typically try to be at the gym about half an hour before this. Uh, does it, well, regardless, today I just had a rest day, today's legs, I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling lean, and at the same time, or looking lean, I mean, you feel it though, man, you feel it. Uh, today's a leg day, and today is my legs A day, which means it's a top set of hack squats. I'm gonna do something a little bit differently this week, uh, or today for this session. So I've been working up to, I have a top set of 10, that's what has been prescribed. And what I'm gonna do today, or what I've noticed as I've been trying to progress, is that I've been focusing, of course, intensely on doing a little bit more weight and a few more reps. So I've slowly worked up, I think, to two, about 280 pounds, let's call it that, for a set of 10. But there are significant pauses in between the reps. So I'm going up, oftentimes by the third rep, I'm like, wow, this is really hard, and I'm stopping. I'm not going, you know, that I'm catching my breath and going again, catching my breath, going again. So today what I wanna do is just do a quick reset and I want to use constant tension or basically not pause at the top. So what does my top set of 10 look like if I don't pause, if I go up and come right back down, go up and I'll go real, my goal, my plan, let's not call it a goal because that makes it sound like maybe I won't hit it. What's going to happen today, my plan to execute is to have a really slow eccentric, so lower the weight very slowly into control, push up with, I don't have explosiveness, but push up hard, you know, drive. And then when I get to the top, no lockout, no pause, no catch your breath, then immediately back down. And I wanna see what my top set of 10 looks like with that style of repetition. I suspect it'll be a nice change. I don't I don't think this is something saying like, you should only do it this way. But given the, the way I've been doing the reps over the last four times I've done this legs A workout, I think it's time to change it up because I've noticed those, those lengthening periods in between reps. So it's not like, oh, are you getting stronger? Well, you know, if you took a minute in between each rep, you could do a ton more in a set. Obviously, I'm not going that, or I should say obviously, but I'm not that extreme. But nevertheless, if I don't control for exactly this, I may be missing out. So we'll, let's see how this goes. And then for my, my burnout sets, I have done a good job of, I think, of, of not pausing at the top, so actually keeping that tension. And it's, it's pretty wild how that burnout set 10 is using way less weight, you know, or that burnout set is a, feels like a really top set of 10 with significantly less weight on the bar. So well, let's see how this goes. Anyway, I'm excited, looking forward to looking, to, looking forward to, looking forward to looking at it. Yeah, looking forward to it.
squat experiment successful, lowered the weight on the hack squats to where I'm certainly the nicest person in the gym in terms of sharing weights, not stealing from anybody. And that top set was without pausing at the top. I felt way more tension in my quads and legs, overall legs, but definitely in the quads. And man, it was really hard. And here's the part that really kind of gets me both temp in the short term, really pissed. And then broad term, I'm very grateful and thankful because it's the thing to work for is that I'm like, man, I thought I was dying. I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, that's the last rep. And then I was like, nah, get another one. And then I was like, oh, I'll get another one. And I was feeling like, I'm a beast, I'm a beast. And then I look at the video and it's like, oh, you know that rep where I thought I was done? Like, it was maybe just a teeny bit slower than the other ones. The one where I thought like, oh, look at me getting extra. I was like, oh, that actually looks like a hard rep. And then the one where I was like, I can't believe it. You know, driving through the wall. It's like, oh yeah, you're starting to shake a little bit. Hey, you're now starting to work. So it was like, I look at it now, I think, okay, great. So on the one hand, I've watched the video and I'm just ego, you know, totally crushed. I think I put in this tremendous effort. I did not. Uh, second though, or more importantly is, oh my gosh, how wonderful. Uh, because now I get to come back next week. Well, I have next session, but my next legs a session. And I know that I can, with, 225 on the hack squat, two plates on each end. If I do somewhere between 12 and 15 reps, it will feel very hard and I still have a lot more in the tank. I'm still not, I, there's still so much more I can give, uh, which is which is amazing. This is, you know, this, this is why I'm here. <laughs> for those few, for those, the 30 seconds to one minute, well, and we'll get more of it over time, the better I get at this, the longer I'll be able to push in extremis in some sort of extreme situation. And, I, and I, I, I really look forward to that. Instead of just having one or two brief moments of that all out effort, I can, I will hopefully prolong this and get better and better. So on that note, it's wonderful and exciting. Still, it's just soul crushing to look at that video. Sunday, we're doing some meal prep. We've got some seasoning here, a critical helper, and some ground turkey, two pounds from Costco, 93.7. We'll throw that on the grill. The ground turkey will be for our meals A, B, and C. We'll probably get new macros here, but those have had enough fat in them, about 10 grams, where we can do a serving or a serving and a half of 93.7 ground turkey. All right, let's get it, Lydia. Ready to cook? Let's go. Donuts with Liam and Lydia. Daddy can't have any because he's on contest prep. Mm -hmm. But what do you think, Liam? Good donut? Good. Lydia, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it through them. Whoa. Whoa, no. Meal A, fresh off the grill. We've got our chicken breast, so chicken breast, sweet potato. I did microwave the sweet potato though. Didn't even bother to grill it or bake it, just microwaved it. But with the fresh grilled chicken and some olive oil, it's gonna be good. Liam with the Scooby-Doo donut. Yeah. Cause he came with us so Lydia could nap. Enjoy baby dog. You love Thank it. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. What do you think? Good? Good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gonna leave me there? Last meal of the night here on Sunday, we've got some chicken, sweet potatoes, some greens, and some hot sauce, and a brewing fight in the kitchen. Yes, yes. <laughs> 